Um, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Chong from Princeton University. Today, I'm going to talk about our patch cleanser defense, which is a joint work with Sae and Pritchie. So patch cleanser is a certifiably robust defense against adversary patches. And I will start this talk by introducing these two concepts. First, the adversary patch attack is a variant of the adversary example attack against machine learning model. The attacker would put all adversarial pixel within a local region to form a patch, and then they will optimize the patch content to induce test time model misclassification. The interesting thing about this attack is that the attacker can print and attach the patch to the physical scene. Then any image taken from the scene become adversarial. Here in this example, a sticker on the stop sign can change it to a speed limit, and also a patch on the table can change a banana to a toaster. So this attack imposes a threat to machine learning applications that are interacting with the physical world. So here, our research question is, how can we build robust models against adversary patches? As the very first step, we want to understand what is robustness and how can we quantify and evaluate it. Usually, people will just use a specific attack to attack the system for robustness evaluation. However, the problem is that the robustness evaluated in this way today might be compromised by smarter adaptive attack in the future. We have seen a lot of concrete examples in the literature that the defenses are being broken by adaptive attack maybe just a few months after their publication. So this also demonstrates the challenges of design defenses against adversary attacks. So here, we want to ask, can we design defenses in a special way such that we can prove their robustness against any future adaptive strategy? And that is the focus of today's talk called certifiable robustness. The idea is that given a defense model, an input image, and a threat model, we want to generate a robustness certificate which says the model prediction is always correct no matter what a white box adaptive attacker within a threat model does. Here, the white box adaptive means that the attacker can know everything about the defense, including the defense algorithm, defense parameter, model weights, model architectures. And a typical threat model used in the literature is one square patch that takes 2% of the image pixels and it can have any content and can be placed at any image location. The certificate aims to account for all these different attack scenarios so that we don't need to worry about the future. Here in patch cleanser, of course, first, we want to achieve state-of-the-art certifiable robustness against adversary patches to have strong robustness guarantees. In addition to that, we want to highlight that our certifiable robustness comes at a minimum cost of clean performance. Unlike a prior war that they induce usually like 20% clean accuracy drop for the ImageNet dataset from the undefended model, our patch cleanser can still maintain state-of-the-art clean accuracy even among undefended model. This is the first time we find a defense with state-of-the-art certifiable robustness and clean accuracy at the same time. And next, I will talk about the defense algorithm. So in patch cleanser, we propose a pixel masking strategy. The idea is very simple. We try to mask out the entire patch to neutralize the adversary effect. Once we remove all of the fair pixels, then we can recover the correct prediction using any state-of-the-art image classifier. The main challenge is, how can we mask out the patch without knowing where the patch is? And especially, we need to do it in a certifiably robust manner. So here, I will give you some intuitions that motivate our design. First, we observe that applying small mask to clean image barely changes the model prediction because we can still recognize the dog even with the small mask on the input image. On the other hand, when there is an adversarial patch on the image, we find applying small mask would change the prediction because when we mask out the patch, we can get the correct prediction back. Then applying mask to the adversarial image will have a disagreement in all these different mask predictions. Here in this talk, I will focus on the case that we consider one patch, and in the paper, we discuss how to handle multiple patches. Then going back to this slide, given this disagreement, the question is, how can we settle it? Or how can we identify the correct prediction label? 
in this example, we might, to say, we might want to say, hey, how about we output the disagreement the minority dog because we only find one mask that removes the patch. But the problem is, what if the attacker knows about the defense strategy and they introduced other prediction labels? Just to be noted that all the remaining eight predictions are all under attacker's control because their patch doesn't remove the patch. Uh, their mask doesn't remove the patch. So the attacker, maybe they can change the cache to fox and maybe move this fox at different locations. Our question is, how can we distinguish this, this dog and fox? Or equivalently, how can we identify the mask that removes the patch from other masks? Our solution is to add a second mask. We will apply a second mask to different image location, and then we analyze the model predictions on image with two masks. We will show that this analysis allows us to determine if the first mask removes the patch or not. Here, I will give some more intuitions. Say the first mask already removes the patch. Then our second mask is going to be applied to a clean image. Based on our previous discussion, masking on clean image barely changed the model prediction, so usually we will see a prediction agreement. Therefore, in practice, when we deploy our defense, if we see a, an agreement in two mask prediction, we will know probably the first mask already removes the patch, so we can trust this agreed prediction. On the other hand, if the first mask doesn't remove the patch, that means the second mask is applied to an adversarial image. Based on our previous discussion, we will see a prediction disagreement. Therefore, in defense, in our in practice, a disagreement means that there are still adversary pixel left, and we shouldn't trust this prediction at all. So this difference allows us to develop our final four defense algorithm. We call it double masking. That is, we defense with two rounds of masking. As the first step, we will generate a mask set, and we require that at least one mask can remove the patch regardless of the patch location. Uh, we discussed how to do that in the paper. Then we will apply every mask from the mask set to the input image. Then we evaluate the model pr predictions on masked image. If we see an agreement, we will know it is probably a clean image, so we will trust this agreed prediction. On the other hand, a disagreement means that it's probably an adversary patch there. We will trigger the second round masking to settle this disagreement. And we note that the second mask is applied to every first round masked image. Then we will evaluate prediction on image with two masks and check the agreement again. If there is an agreement, we will know the first mask already removed the patch, so we can trust and output these agreed predictions. On the other hand, if there is a disagreement, that means there are still adversarial pixels left. Then we will just discard these labels, and then we will move on to the next musket image. So in the paper, we have additional details to ensure that uh, the algorithm will always output label. So that is a defense algorithm. How can we reason about the robustness? How can we certify the robustness? In the paper, we show that two mask correctness implies the certifiable robustness. That is, we consider all two mask combinations and we apply to the image, and if the model predictions on all of them are correct, we have the robustness. How can we prove that? So I would really encourage people to check out the proof in the paper. It's pretty fun, and we don't need any complex math to prove the robustness. We just do some pure, simple logical reasoning. And here I will give some intuition about why patch cleanser would never return an incorrect label. So for a proof, we have two conditions. The first one is we know at least one mask will remove the patch, and the second one is the two mask correctness, which means the prediction on mask the image without any adversarial pixels are correct. Then look at our algorithm. So we can see that we will output prediction based on either one mask prediction or two mask prediction. For the one mask prediction, we can claim that there is at least one correct one mask prediction because there is at least one first wrong mask that removes the patch. And based on two mask prediction, we know when there is no adversarial pixels, the mask prediction are correct. So we can find one correct prediction here. This correct prediction will enforce disagreement with any different label if there is any introduced by the attacker. And we know disagreement, we will out, not, never output a prediction, so we will not in, return incorrect label. And, yeah, and we can do similar analysis for the two mask prediction. We will know there is at least one correct two mask prediction because at least one second wrong mask can remove the patch. 
This enforces disagreement and ensures that we, not, we will not return the label. That's the high level idea, and more details are in our paper. Then next, we will talk about our evaluation. We will focus on two metrics. The first one is clean accuracy. That is the fraction of the image that can be correctly classified when there is no attack. The second one is the certified robust accuracy. That is, how many images we can certify the robustness for, or just how many images we can have the too much correctness. Here, we will report the performance for the ImageNet data set, and the robustness is considered for a 2% pixel square patch with any content and anywhere on the image. So there, there, this is where the prior works are, and this also marks the range of clean accuracy for the undefended model. It's usually larger than 80%. And this is our patch cleanser. So from the figure, we can show that the patch cleanser has a very high clean accuracy. It even falls within the range of state-of-the-art undefended model. In addition to that, we have a strong certified robust accuracy. And our robust accuracy in this evaluation setting is even higher than the prior works, uh, 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 the clean accuracy of the prior works. So all these results demonstrate the strengths of our patch cleanser design. Finally, takeaway. Um, yeah. So in this talk, I talk about we designed a patch cleanser defense, which used a pixel masking strategy. And we achieved certifiable robustness for recovering the correct prediction labels. And we are the first to achieve such a high clean accuracy on the image that data set, and of course, as well as the state of the art certified robust accuracy. And in addition to that, I want to highlight the patch cleanser is compatible with any state of the art image class file, while prior wars, they all rely on particular types of model architecture. And we have released the artifact on the GitHub. We are also maintaining a leaderboard for the robustness and a paper list for relevant research. Uh, just feel free to check it out, and that's the talk and happy to take any questions.